Hi there, this is Dan Sadler with Cutwater Boats out of Seattle, Washington. Today I'm down at the Everett Harbor with our 242 Coupe. I'd like to show you some of the features and benefits of the boat. And a little bit after that, we will actually take the boat out for a ride and uh, give you a feel of what it's like on the water. So a really neat feature I want to show you on the trailer is our integrated trailer lights on the boat itself. This is a patented feature that we have for added safety and trailering. We have side marker lights on the boat and coming around to the transom here, you will see I've got my right turn blinker on. I've got the right blinker light going on the trailer as well as the boat. So if you ever lose one of the LED lights, whether it be on the trailer or on the boat itself, you've got the other one to back you up for redundancy and safety. So let's talk about the hull design of the 242 Coupe real quick. It's got a 24 degree dead rise in the bow of the boat, which gives you a phenomenal smooth ride. We have a reverse chine on the boat, which gives you tremendous stability at rest as well as on plane and also aids you in getting on plane. The double stepped hull design on the 242 gives you great performance, great efficiency and better time on plane as well as handling characteristics. Our patented laminar flow interrupters up in the bow section of the boat greatly increase the cornering characteristics for a nice smooth turn. Couple other things while we're up in the bow section of the boat. We have the option for a bow thruster, which really gives you great handling characteristics around the dock and tight areas. We have docking lights on the boat standard. We give you a bow pulpit with a boarding ladder that comes out so you can go down to the beach in front of you, as well as a place to hang your anchor. So let's just talk a little bit about the transom area back here. You've got underwater lights on our trim tabs. We use Lenco tabs electric on the boat which gives you uh, the ability to level the boat out when you're running. This is the 300 horse Yamaha, phenomenal engine, four stroke. It's a 4.2 liter V6, great top end performance, pushes this boat close to 50 miles an hour. You can cruise all day long in that uh, 30 to 35 mile an hour range with tremendous economy. Uh, you've got a 116 gallon fuel tank in the boat, so your range is hundreds of miles. The, uh, on the other side of the engine here, you will see that we have a boarding ladder for when you're swimming and doing your water sports. It's easy to get back in and it's a nice deep ladder. Uh, there's a little um, uh, place that it hides inside underneath this, this board on top of the swim platform. We also have a hot and cold shower located at the back of the boat. So if you get out of the salt water and you wanna rinse off, you can get nice and clean on the transom. Your fuel fill is right here. So it's very easy to fuel the boat, whether you're at the dock or standing at the pump at the uh, local service station on land. It's very easy to get to. So I'm ready to go put this boat in the water and let's go for a quick spin. We'll just unhook our safety chain. So we're idling down the uh, inlet here and uh, I've got the Garmin 7610 on. It's a chart plotter, fish finder combination as well as option for radar. You can see it's 21 feet. Uh, it's a touch screen, very easy to use. I just love the Garmin, how easy it is. Uh, we're just getting ready to take off and do a little run in here, but I wanted to show you the helm area. It's very uh, ergonomic. I've got all my switches right here. I've got the Yamaha control gauge here. My bow thruster control is there. Your throttle is right here. You've got your VHF radio right here. Your trim tab controls are right here. And your safety lanyard is right here. I'm gonna put this on and we'll take off and go for a ride. So we're cruising along right now at about 4,000 RPM, boat's nice and level. I have adjusted it with the Lenko tabs. We're gonna run her on up to about 4,800 RPM. Boat's very responsive. Like we've blown by that, we're at 5,300, 5,400. Still not wide open throttle. We're doing well over 40 knots right now. Boat just runs along real nice, good visibility.
let's take it on back to the dock and I'll show you a few more features inside the boat. Let's talk about all the features in the transom of the 242 coupe. We've got a recessed ski pylon. Forward of that, we have a lid which conceals an electric Kenyan grill. There's a prep area back here so you can put all your hot dog buns and that sort of thing. Underneath the electric Kenyan grill, you actually have a live well. So you could store the grill inside a bag and you have a live well to keep your crabs or bait fish alive. Next to that, you've got a hot and cold sink. This all conceals up nice when you're done. Just pop it back on. Folds down nice. And forward to that, you actually have a transom seat for two people. In the port corner of the transom, we've actually got a fish locker with a drain at the bottom and a cushion that snaps on top, so you've got an extra seat out here. So one thing nice about our combing bolsters is you can lift them off and put them away for storage when you're done at the end of the year. And they also attach very easily when you're ready to go back boating again. Underneath the combing bolster, you have a 12 volt outlet for your Scotty downrigger, and we factory mount the pads also at the factory. Your shore power cord plugs in here, and down below that, we actually have a raw water wash down, so you can hose down the decks of the boat. So in the cockpit of the 242, we have a tremendous amount of storage. Room for your fenders and lines here. Let's fold the seat up. Tons of room down there. You could probably put a couple of crab pots folded up, more fenders and lines. And again, more room for any of the gear you want to bring along. The 242 Coupe has a solid bulkhead, as you can see, with windows and doors. But what's great about it is you can open everything up so that you can let the inside out and the outside in. Then do a couple of latches here. The window opens up. There's a foot rest underneath it, so you can pop that down. And you got a great seat facing aft. So if you're fishing, you could watch your rods or just socializing with your friends in the cockpit. The aft transom door makes it easy to get on and off the boat. And while I'm back here, I just wanted to show you we've got a couple of flush mounted rod holders. And then we also have the two clamp on rod holders in the back of the boat. Moving forward is very easy. We've added an extrusion to the gunnel of the boat to keep your foot positively on board. And we also have hand holds on top. Another neat feature is we've added sport racks. So if you want to take along a sea kayak, a stand up paddle board, or a bicycle, those easily clamp on our sport racks. So up on the bow of the boat, if you get the optional windlass, you've got controls for it here as well as back on the helm. We've got a nice bow pulpit, and that gives you access to the forward bow ladder also. Underneath the non-skid lids, we've got a huge storage area for your anchor and road. And by the way, that drains overboard instead of directly down into the bilge of the boat. As you can see, we've got two hatches which open up to give you great ventilation down into the forward V berth of the boat and our large sun lounge for enjoying the afternoon on the deck of the boat. Coming inside the boat, we've got our built-in fusion speakers up above. Down in the galley, you've got a 110 alcohol electric range, large deep stainless steel sink with a cutting board on top, and also the sprayer pulls out so you can clean up some larger items. Below here, you've got a gauge for your fresh water and your pump on, a GFI built-in, also, solid wood cabinetry which we build in-house for lots of storage for pots, pans and all that underneath, food, and a silverware drawer on top to put your silverware in. Moving forward in the galley, you've got a nice big 12 volt refrigerator freezer. Over on the port side, you've got a built-in microwave. And once you're ready to sit down and enjoy a meal, you can move the backrest forward and you've got seating for four at the table. You've got two powered USB ports here. Fusion marine grade stereo with Bluetooth and two drink holders up on top right next to the hand holder. We have LED lighting throughout the cabin of the boat. We have hatches above with screens which will install to give you more ventilation if you like as well as the 
Side windows open up. We also have screens on the side windows. We also have full length curtains, which will completely enclose the inside of the boat for privacy at night. The dinette table lowers to give you another berth in the boat. All you do is release the, hat, the latches below, drop it down, tighten them up. Take the nice cushion. To access the mid berth, all you do is lift the lid up on top. It's got a gas shock so it stays up. Plenty of room below for sleeping or to store gear. This gives you plenty of access to your battery switches and your 110 breakers. So access to the forward V berth is through the companion way. You've got a lid that opens up, stays up on a gas shock. And you, for privacy, we have a door that closes. We've got two showers on the boat, one back at the transom and one up here in the forward V berth. All you do is remove the sprayer from the sink below and pull the shower curtain around you, close the door, take a shower. All the water that hits the floor goes right into the shower sump and is pumped out over the side. You've got a marine toilet with a pump out and holding tank. You've got a nice stainless steel sink below with a sprayer. Below that you've got storage and above you've got shelves for storage. You've got a nice vanity mirror which folds out as well as your 12 volt TV DVD combination. So with the table up, this is a great area for the kids to come down and get away from everybody. Another dining area, as well as give them some privacy from the rest of the group. Right now we've got the table down with the cushion on. All you do is add the last cushion and you've got sleeping for two adults up in the Ford V berth. This is Dan Sadler with Cutwater Boats again. Thanks for spending some time with me today on the tour of the 242 Coupe. If you need more information or have questions, please visit our website, cutwaterboats.com.